Ever wondered how four seemingly simple tactics have the power to redefine Tottenham's game? In this video, we'll delve into an in-depth analysis, exploring what these tactics are, how they are implemented, and the strategic reasoning behind Postacoglu's decision to integrate them into Tottenham's gameplay. The first tactic was employed to reduce the number of goals conceded by Spurs. During Conte's tenure, Spurs faced a significant problem where they frequently lost the ball during the build-up. This mistake cost Spurs 62 goals last season, with only Bournemouth and Nottingham Forest, aside from the relegated sides, conceding more. To address this issue, Postico Glue employed high pressing. High pressing involves applying intense pressure on the opposition in their defensive third. This tactic aims to force turnovers and regain possession quickly. With the help of high pressing, Spurs have not only prevented the opponents from settling into a rhythm, but also created scoring opportunities. Let's look at an example. In this scenario, Madison initiates the press, while Sun provides support. Once Madison wins the ball, it creates an overload in Arsenal's defensive third. Madison, and Madison can drive, and Son is in. in another example, Spurs employ high pressing once again to force Arsenal out of possession. Once Sun spots the back pass, he initiates the press, while other forwards provide support. Due to the high press, Gabriel finds both passing lanes blocked, leaving the only option to go long. The aerial ball is then won by Romero, securing possession for Tottenham. While high pressing has been very effective for Spurs, this tactic does have a problem. If players are instructed to press high, it makes them vulnerable at the back. The opposition can play an over-the-top ball, creating a direct threat of a counter-attack. To mitigate the risks from these type of situations, Postacoglu introduced the second tactic, the sweeper-stopper system. The sweeper-stopper system involves deploying two central defenders with distinct roles. The sweeper operates behind the defensive line and serves as the last line of defense, while the stopper operates as a more aggressive defender, engaging attackers and winning tackles. For example, in the current scenario, Spurs lose the ball to West Ham during the build-up, triggering the press from the stopper. Ben Davies is the stopper in this case, and Romero acts as a sweeper. As soon as there is a risk of a counter-attack, the sweeper tracks back and closes the gap. In another example, Arsenal is attacking from the right with Ben White. If you look closely, Tottenham's both centre-backs are performing different roles. Romero will track back to provide cover, while Van de Ven will engage the attacker. And these roles are not rigid. They change depending on the position of the ball. For instance, when Arsenal attacks via the left side, Romero takes on the more aggressive role, while Van de Ven tracks back to provide cover. However, when Arsenal attacks through the right, the roles are switched. This system enabled players to press high without the fear of getting caught on the counter. However, what about teams that don't play on the break? Teams like Manchester City and Arsenal, known for their positional play and passing combinations to advance the ball up the pitch. To address this challenge, Postacoglu implemented another tactic known as forcing wide. This strategy is used to dominate the center of the field. Spurs implement this tactic by lining up compact in the central areas, but allowing space on both flanks. Once the ball is moved to the wide areas, Spurs forwards track back and press to force a turnover. In the current scenario, Spurs have forced the ball to Doku on the left flank. They maintain compactness in the middle, leaving ample space on the right flank. Doku has the opportunity to create a chance by delivering the ball to Foden. However, Spurs forwards quickly track back to halt the attack. In another example, Spurs line up compactly in the center and leave space on both flanks, forcing Man City to play wide. Once Rodri sends the ball long to the left wing, Johnson tracks back and makes it difficult for Doku to move inward and create a scoring chance. The movement of forwards is crucial for their defensive play. In another example, Johnson starts tracking back immediately as soon as the ball has moved to his wing. Depending on the situation, he can press the player in possession, or he can block the space in between for shots and crosses. These three tactics share a commonality. They are primarily employed when Spurs are out of possession. However, their struggles last season were even more problematic during the in-possession phase. Take touches, for example. These are zones where they had more touches than the opposition, Comparing it to this season, there is a drastic change. And the reason they are so good at in-possession play this season is Postacoglu's fourth tactic. Fullbacks as temporary midfielders. Spurs like to build up from the goalkeeper, quite similarly to teams like Brighton, City or Arsenal. 
However, the difference lies in the unique use of fullbacks in the system. During the build-up phase, the centre-backs take positions on either side of the goalkeeper, while fullbacks progress to the midfield to form the second line. In this system, the fullbacks serve as auxiliary midfielders. This unique movement allows the other number six to join the attack and create overloads in the attacking areas. For example, in this game, Spurs are building up from the back. Both fullbacks are in the midfield, forming the second line with Bizuma. This gives Saar the freedom to join the build-up and create numeric overloads in the midfield. As soon as Saar gets the ball, he carries it forward to support the attack. Two wide areas. In another example, Poro and Udogi are again positioned in the midfield, while Saar is staying wide to provide a passing lane. Having Poro in the midfield with his passing range is a big advantage. Poro can get the ball into dangerous spaces, which allows the forwards to progress play and attack even when Arsenal have a numerical advantage. Defenders are expecting Kulusevski to cut in and take a shot. Instead, he does this. Gabriel, and Son joins in, and All these tactics have proven effective for Spurs, yet challenges persist. Postacoglu's system heavily relies on players like Van de Ven, Romero, Bissouma and Madison. Although the addition of defender Dragusin provides ample depth at the back, there remains a gap in the squad without a natural replacement for Madison. The fitness of these key players will undoubtedly play a crucial role in determining Tottenham's aspirations for a top four finish. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. Your support is what keeps us going.